Hey everyone, I'm going to show off the gift parcel build I made and used for the competition. This is using many powerful NFTs I own in the game. If you want a non-NFT version of this build, check out one of my videos where I showcase my non-NFT gift parcel build, which I'll leave a link to in the description. Uh, so what I'm showing here is a recording I took 5 hours before the competition ended and I rotated the town and clicked on all the windmills and the crafting buildings in case you were curious what each one was making. I got a great spot but not the spot I was actually trying to go for. So this spot has a uh, one ocean and one mountain across from each other and it was a plains biome. The one I was aiming for was in a desert biome and it had the one ocean and one mountain adjacent to each other. That way I could just easily copy my non-NFT layout I practiced and improve it from there by plugging in my NFTs. I do believe I could have done better if that was the case, but it's fine. I improvised and I made this one work as well as I could. This build was all over the place on the rate, but on average, like the true average, this build did 8 gift parcel per hour. I tweaked this one a lot, basically every day. Uh, one day it was overproducing decorated cake and underproducing sangria, and then the next day a complete flip, and I kind of just made it work. So yeah, you could say there was balancing issues. And just like how I went during the last competition with food parcels, I had to micromanage the town in order for it to run efficiently. I ended in 131st place, putting me in the top 150 bracket, so I should be getting a 675 gala prize. For last month's gala prize competition, I received a payout of 800 gala, which is what I was expecting for achieving top 100. I didn't have any real issues with this competition, you know, other than the adjustments I had to make because of the ocean and the mountain being across from each other, which I wasn't planning on getting at first, but really, I, I, I never had my game crash, seems like all my cells went through, none of my storage got completely jammed, so that's all good. The cash boost in eggs made this less work than it had to be which is cool i didn't have to worry about cash at all and really the entire time i had enough cash to buy anything i wanted i'm not going to do an in-depth explanation for this build because honestly i kept having to tweak it anyways this just happened to be how it looked like near the end the most important thing i can point out is that i had to make sure there was enough trees that i would always have wood available in the lumber yard since I needed the wood for the Cabernet grapes and the cocoa. If I wasn't making those at all, eventually my rate would drop significantly. So that would be the key part I was trying to balance in this build. The next part was having enough sugar for everything. Basically what I realized is if you aren't constantly getting sugar in, some of your buildings may struggle to pick up enough of it. And depending on the layout, you may end up with buildings that don't pick the sugar up fast enough to craft their item, and then it hurts your production rate. My last video with the non-NFT gift parcel layout got a lot of attention, and it looks like a good amount of people copied or referenced it in their build, and it seemed to help them out a lot, which is great to hear. People who were never able to get top 1000 in a gala competition prize before, were actually able to do so this time just by following along with what I had in that layout and listening to my advice. I'm here to help you out with the game while I get to play and enjoy the game myself. So if you ever have any questions or need help just ask me in the comments on any of my videos or message me on discord. I'm usually in the Townstar discussion channel so you could just tag me and eventually I'll get back to you. Uh, even if you have no questions and it's just feedback or constructive criticism, let me know. I'll probably appreciate it and learn from it as well. I appreciate everyone who shares my videos and who shares the Town Star playbook. You're helping people get all the info they need for the game or the upcoming competition from doing so. It can answer lots of questions at once and get people more informed, interested, and potentially engaged in the game if they like it. 
Shout out to Lycan Warlord for showcasing my non NFT gift parcel build. And shout out to Drac Grinds Gala and Ben Crypto Gaming for sharing and explaining the Town Star playbook. Uh, shout out to everyone who shares the Town Star playbook in the Town Star discussion channel. It's a lot of you and I appreciate you all. Also, shout out to the Korean, Spanish, Portuguese, Dutch, Turkish, and Filipino communities. I see some of you sharing the Town Star playbook as well. Greatly appreciate it helping out people that understand different languages. Uh, one of the reasons I included so many pictures is so it can be easier to understand without necessarily needing to read English. So it can be more of a universal tool for different languages. So it's cool to see people of other languages actually using the playbook as well. So last thing I have to say, in case you didn't know what the next meta is going to be for the October NFT reward competition, it's going to be a party box, the new most difficult meta in the game. Based on the information that was already given to us, the party box will be crafted in the boxing facility and will require one food parcel, one gift parcel, and one wooden box. And I know exactly what some of you are waiting for, and that's my non-NFT party box build. <laughs> so all I can say is I'll see what I can come up with, and hopefully it will do some good. So yeah, hopefully you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that. <laughs> I would appreciate it if you could like this video and please do leave a comment on how the competition went for you and whether or not you did end up using my non-NFT gift parcel layout. And hello to all my new subscribers, I'm going to do my best to help you win some gala and NFT prizes. And to all my current subscribers who have been sticking around, I hope it's been going great for you all. I'll continue to share my knowledge with you all and help you keep winning. <laughs> I appreciate all your support. Thanks for watching.